a dreidel is a toy that the children play with during Hanukkah, but it really has greater significance than just a top that you spin. Rhonda Cap makes uniquely crafted copper and brass dreidels, one of the endearing symbols of Hanukkah. Dreidels were originally made of clay and now come in every imaginable material. But when Rhonda chose to make these toys in metal, she brought this traditional toy to new heights. And the art of metalwork is a form of expression that she took to immediately. Ever since I lit the torch, I just love the, the medium. I love the warmth of the copper and bronze, and I think it brings across the uh, spirituality of the work that I do. Rhonda says that naturally, when you make spinning tops, it helps to be centered. My dreidels can be a little out of square or out of round, but as long as the axis is straight to the center, they seem to spin very well. So, with the principles of physics in mind, Rhonda begins the delicate process of making a dreidel. I measure and cut the materials, and I cut out all the letters that would go on the dreidel. And I do some pre-welding, where I weld the, some materials that will go on the dreidel. To create the unique texture found on the letters, Rhonda uses a chemical agent called flux to weld the bronze on top of the copper. And then I start assembling the piece. And I make sure that I get things pretty well straight. The heat of the torch moves the metal and bends it. So I have to straighten it a little bit between the process. Each hand forged piece is unique. In this case, Rhonda is making what she calls a lace dreidel. After the piece is assembled, Rhonda adds the letters, the symbols that represent the message of Hanukkah. The four letters spell out Nez Gadol Hayasham, which means a great miracle happened there. step finds this dedicated metal sculptor polishing the dreidel on a grinder with a wire wheel. When I do spin it while I'm working occasionally, I'll make sure that I have to put a drop here or a drop there to balance it out. A bit of work and a bit of play consume this artist's days. Rhonda remains grateful for the chance to have her pieces become part of other families' holiday traditions.